Hey, what's going on guys? Another guy here. I want to keep things brief. Also, apologies if you hear background noise. I'm in my apartment and uh, it, it gets loud with the traffic and everything. Anyways, to keep things brief, I kind of took a huge hiatus. Pretty much after the last video I made, I shared some thoughts with T-Mobile and then they responded by accusing me of creating a private server. It went about as well as you expected. That's <laughs> It's pretty much the biggest reason why I haven't done anything in the past couple of months. Uh, no intentions of coming back, and definitely not after what I'm going to tell you here. So I'm pulling up a screenshot right here posted by, I don't know. You might recognize some of these accounts. If you've ever looked at the bar at the bottom on like who's killed what boss, let me check if I'm, the audio is playing, all right, beautiful. If who's killed what boss, chances are you're gonna see one of these accounts, right? These are some of the strongest accounts in the game. But this person that take, has taken the screenshot didn't acquire these accounts by purchasing them, trading them. He pretty much hacked. We're going to say hacked loosely. He, he took control of these accounts. And it's now this person's account. The weird thing about saying hacked is... I'm, I'm still at a turnover between did somebody actually get into the database of T-Mobiles and take each one of these accounts, or is this a key logging type situation, or is it, you know, somebody gave their accounts and then they, they pretty much messed up. I'll, I'll say this, players are reporting that they've reset their account with the password with the, the Gmail reset, and then they still have trouble logging in at times. I'll say that. Uh, hold on, let me uh, pause real quick. The one thing that I did want to highlight, so the post goes into saying, hey, you know, be careful, there's a hacker here. Don't ever show your, don't ever show your email because somebody, and this is all speculation until things are confirmed because, you know, I don't want to get into more legal trouble with T-Mobile. This person is saying that if you show your email or if you have any details of your account floating out there, they are susceptible to getting hacked into. One thing I'm glad for is that I don't really show my email. By the way, actually, actually, if the hacker actually wants to prove his merits, please hack my, let me get this formatting better. All right, if you can hack this account, that would actually be amazing for me. Uh, I lost that account a very long time ago. And if you could hack that, I'd actually really appreciate you. What has destroyed me for the most part is TMOBI's response to pretty much everything in the past couple years. Honestly, since the last decade, since they've taken over, they've just dropped the ball repeatedly. Also, this guy's brown nosing. <laughs> All right. So everyone here is just reacting to, let's see. Everyone's reacting to all the accounts that have been hacked and stolen and all, all stuff like that. Let's see. The one thing that I care about is T-Mobile responding to this. A friendly warning to all. These accounts are toxic. We can see and track all items traded. We reserve the right to lock them at any time. Buy them equals no refund. All accounts connected to buying, trading, transporting, touching, or selling items connected to these accounts risk a permanent ban. That include middlemen. So what they're confirming here is that every single situation where somebody's been hacked, where somebody has, I don't know, has somebody has used mods, somebody has botted, they've been able to see every single instance of that and they've chosen to ignore it this confirms that every single one of the problems that we have highlighted for the past decade with modders with botters that means they've seen it they've seen all of it and they choose to disregard them all here's a screenshot for what they show as proof that somebody is botting or modding uh, the big thing with stuff like this, it's hard to give any credence to things like this because they're just anonymous. 
Uh, I'm just going to be going through, let's see. Um, why so many people lost their account? What's the reason? Let's see, to late, what? Okay. Today, I, get, I just got robbed. I was playing peacefully and out of nowhere, I was disconnected and robbed, yep. So it, it, it's, it's, it's affected a lot of people. And it doesn't, obviously this guy may or may not be using mods or anything like that. He could have just switched to something else. But from this screenshot, bro, he's not using anything like that. And it is it is sad for a multitude of reasons. Here's also some of the proof that Timo Bias sent to another player, kind of proving that another player had quote-unquote mod code. So this dude, Timo Bias World, said, DB Team sees mod code used on this account. This is the same code found on the other accounts that lost their password. So I, I, I just wanna, I really, I really quickly, I just wanna say something about programming and programming in general. So there's a, is spam IP, I assume it's a Boolean variable. Boolean means like true or false. So what I'm seeing from this code right here is or this variable right here is it's seeing if it's a spam ip or not uh, the only time that anything is spam ip related has come into play is when somebody's using multiple accounts to log in so this is either saying to i'm i mean i'm saying either two things one team mobile is either lying out of their ass that is spam ip correlates to a user using mods or not or two what's the second one is spam ip doesn't show if somebody is modding or not if if it is seen excuse me sorry i need some water if they did have code that correlated directly to if somebody was using mods or not don't you think they would be cracking down on mods way back when why is it all of a sudden right now why is it all of a sudden at sunday at eleven thirty nine, they finally have the power to see if somebody's either modding or botting right now and i fully i fully know that they have the capability of seeing if somebody is a modder or not so back at the very first sentence where i said T-Mobile accused me of creating a private server. It's 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 definitely one thousand percent not true. What is true is I've talked with some of the people that have made private servers, and I wanted to see what things are, or how do things look from the admin's perspective. And he definitely walked me through all of the shit that admins can see. You can see pretty much an entire account's history. T-Mobile will have you believe that they can only see two weeks worth of player data, which I remember one of my friends, uh, actually he's a YouTuber, DBO YouTuber. That's, it's a sad title to have nowadays, but he asked T-Mobile cause he got hacked and he went off, he went off for about a month and the DB team straight up told him that we can only see data for about two weeks. So I don't know what upgrades they went through in the past like six months, or I think it was a year, but either they've been lying or they're lying now. And with TM Mobile, I genuinely don't believe that it's it's either I can't trust them now or I haven't I can't I can't trust what they've said before. And I don't know which one is worse. I don't know which one's worse for Team Mobile. I don't know which one is worse for the game. And I, like you've seen me, I, I, I have no qualms with literally just unpinning this boy from the taskbar. I haven't played in about a month and I don't continue to play this game anymore. And I hope that's the same for a lot of other players. Um, I guess takeaways, I still do have the Discord open. I, I do like that as a place for people to talk. I, I know it's not as active as it was when I did YouTube, but 
it is nice to every once in a while just talk about you know if the game is progressing how it is and things like this where you know it's it's very unfortunate uh, but I gotta go to the gym um, I shall see you bros later my name is um, oh by the way if T-Mobile is watching my name is um uh, crap crap give me a name give me a name give me a name give me a name uh, give me a name I can pawn this pawn this off of Hold on, hold on. My name is Super Majub. So, T Mobile, if you ever want to ban me, search up the name in the database Super Majub. You can ban him. I give you express permission to ban Super Majub. That's it. Lord of Life, Lord of Subscribe, Lord of Peace. If you're still watching, after about a month or so, I still do plan to push content from this channel. It's not going to be DBO related. I don't see myself doing DBO at any sort of capacity. Um, if you've stuck around the channel at all, I've made some Dragon Ball content, which is what I'm pivoting either a channel towards or this channel towards, and I'd love to see you on the journey with me. Uh, see ya.